A Sabian symbol reading and spell for the September 23rd equinox. Libra 1, a butterfly made perfect by a dart through it. This is a symbol of completely unconditioned potentiality, as this may be grasped on the imaginative side of life. Here are elements of individual consciousness emerging from a primordial formlessness and of wisdom developing through the human spirit's continual determination to project itself into experience. Each person comes into identifiable being through the nature which has been molded for them and thereupon refines this for their own self-expression. The key word is articulation. When positive, the degree is a person's awakening for some more whole-souled focus of character and when negative, the loss of all selfhood by a needless surrender to the world and conformity to its ways. My name is Jamie Lutzo, and I would like to talk about this symbol in relation to our spirit forms and potential, looking at the concepts of conformity, capitalism, and collectivity. Depending on our perspective, we can experience what is around us as chaos or harmony. On the day of an equinox, Daytime and nighttime are of approximately equal duration all over the planet. The equinoxes are the only time when the edge between night and day, also known as the solar terminator, is perpendicular to the equator. As a result, the northern and southern hemispheres are equally illuminated. In the northern hemisphere, the autumnal equinox marks the beginning of fall. In the southern hemisphere, it marks the beginning of spring. We enter the world in the form given our body, our DNA, developing in the social soup we were born into. We adapt and conform as necessary to survive. The word conform comes from the Latin conformare, literally meaning together to form. If we look at later adaptations of the word, we see it being used as be obedient to God, comply, but also as bring into harmony, make agreeable, to make of the same form or character. I live in the United States where one conforms to capitalism in one way or another. Capitalism knows everything about exploiting the pitfalls of the third dimension. To paraphrase Cale Garrison, we were not put on this earth to drive a car, go to work, and watch TV. And to quote a 1929 encyclopedic definition of capitalism, the year that ended the Roaring Twenties and ushered in a worldwide Great Depression, a word chiefly signifying the worldwide modern system of organizing production and trade by private enterprise, free to seek profit and fortune by employing for the wages the mass of human labor. The mass of human labor? We have all the potential. So on September 23rd, the fall equinox of this year, an instant of time when the plane of Earth's equator passes through the center of the sun and illuminates the hemispheres equally, Maybe it's time we together to form. How can we use our creativity and imagination to articulate our collective awakening to not only see all the forms of exploitation, but to go back to our unconditioned potentiality? It is within each individual to form our together. The harmony and the chaos, the daytime and the night, the individual and the collective, illuminated in one instant. It happens twice a year, so if we don't get it right this time, let's keep trying. Cycles upon cycles upon cycles. In Eastern time, the equinox falls at 3.50 a.m. very early on Monday morning. You will need a small piece of paper, pen, lighter, and an outdoor area where you can dig a small hole. As always, I would recommend smudging yourself in the area around you before beginning any spell, meditation, etc. as a means to focus your intentions cleanse negative energy, and show respect for the sacred. If you are not familiar with this practice, it's pretty straightforward. A tight bundle of dried sage is most commonly used. You start by lighting one end until it's smoldering and burning, but not a flame. Waft the smoke around you. I like to start with my head and work my way down and around my body, taking my time in this purifying smoke bath. When I reach my feet, I push the smoke outwards and into the ground. So to begin this equinox spell, smudge yourself and bring focus to your intentions. On a small sheet of paper, write as big as will fit on the paper, balance in the being becoming. On the other side, draw a line down the center. On the left side, 
make a list of things you wish to let go of personally, or alternatively, make a list of social practices for us to collectively stop complying with. On the right side, make a list of things you want to activate, again, personally or collectively. Go outside and dig a small hole. With your feet firmly on the ground, fold the paper in half and tear it down the middle. Put the left side into the hole, light it on fire, and let it burn to ashes. Focus on releasing the negative back into the earth where its energy will reform into something new. Hold the right piece of paper to your heart as the left side burns. Feeling the warmth of your creative energies flow from your heart out to the rest of your body. When the last ember has gone out, place the right side of the paper on the top of the ashes in the hole. Reflect on new beginnings and unconditioned potentiality as you cover up the paper with dirt. Once the paper is buried and the hole is full, use both hands at the same time to pack down the dirt, thanking the earth for being your home and spirit for being your guide. Thank you for being here and thank you for your interest in raising our collective vibrations.